The Ashes of Alar Mount is a rare drop in Tempest Keep from Kael'thas Sunstrider that also awards the player with the Ashes of Alar achievement. Tempest Keep is easily soloable by a decently geared 90, making farming this mount relatively easy. However, the drop rate is only around 2%, and since this is a raid, you can only attempt to get this mount once per week. The entrance to Tempest Keep is located in the Netherstorm in Outland. Once inside, you do not need to kill any of the other bosses to get the mount to drop, so head all the way to the rear chamber to where Kelthus Sunstrider waits. Clear the trash in the room, since some of the attacks in the fight will throw you back, which could possibly aggro the mobs. Once you approach Kelthus, he will begin speaking before phase one begins. Energy. Power. My people are addicted to it. Phase one has you facing Kelthus's four advisors, who will attack you one at a time. Let us see how your nerves hold up against the Darkener, Thaladred. Thaladred the Darkener is first, who has the capability of silencing anyone within eight yards for four seconds. Prepare yourselves! If you're not confident in your DPS, I suggest kiting them to the back of the room in different locations, so they will have to run back during Phase 3. However, if your DPS is high enough, you can burn all four advisors on the platform and not worry about their location. Second is Lord Sanguinar, who will cast fear to anyone within 35 yards that lasts 4 seconds as well. Blood for blood. Third is Grand Astromancer Capernian, who can also disorient you for eight seconds. against my master engineer, Telonicus. And last is Master Engineer Telonicus, who can stun you for four seconds with the attack Remote Toy. Anarala Bellore! In Phase 2, Kelthus summons seven legendary weapons where the advisors once stood. These weapons do not have very much health, and once they are killed, you can loot them if you want and use them in the next battle. However, at 90, every weapon is not very helpful in the fights, except for the Staff of Disintegration. If you can equip it, right-clicking it will give you an aura that will block the advisor's CC moves. Two minutes after the beginning of Phase 2, Kelthus will start Phase 3 by reviving all four advisors at once. If you kited them out of the room, focus on the first one that runs to you, and continue through all the advisors until they are dead. There are many different tactics people use for this phase, however their health is not that high and a decently geared level 90 should have no problem beating them. If you are a class that has a pet, it is very important to dismiss your pet after Phase 3, since having the pet out will trigger Kelthus's mind control attack, which will reset the fight. This is also the case for attacks such as a mage's mirror image, which creates three clones of the player. Phase 4 begins right after the last advisor is killed, and Kelthus attacks you. In this phase, you will need to burn Kelthus hard, so use every cooldown you have. 
Your health should be high enough that you will not need to interrupt his attacks. The last phase begins when Kelthus has reached 50% health. He will become invulnerable as he begins to float on the main platform. After he destroys some stuff just to look cool, he will float back down and will become vulnerable again. Once again, this phase is just burning Kelthus until he is dead, while avoiding the black clouds around the platform. After that, you are free to loot him and hopefully you will get your mount. While this drop rate is not as low as some of the other mounts in the game, it will still probably take many attempts until it drops, but keep at it and eventually it will drop. Hopefully this guide was helpful, if it was, leave a like or comment, and be sure to subscribe for future World of Warcraft guides.